Today I have a special interview with the Blockbuster team, the real life hit team that brought us the super hit Uri and the real life Jodi that they are too. Their actor Yami Gautam and director Aditya Dhar. And also joining me is director Aditya Suhas Jamble and together they are bringing to the cinemas Article 370. I'm sure that word needs no introduction. It's based on the abrogation of special status of Jammu and Kashmir. Has been in discussion not just for the past four to five years, but decades altogether. I welcome all of you. And uh, Yami, thank you. I, uh, the glow on your face says a lot. <laughs> uh, how are you managing you, the Nidhi. commitments right now, both professional and personal, at that time? Yeah, I think for me, except for uh, just the fitting of the clothes, everything seems to be pretty <laughs> much the same in terms of my uh, regime. We're just little changes here and there, but mm. feels great. Feels really good. Um, it's it's a new phase in life, yes. and uh, very happy. And at the same time, um, I I think a baby has been part of this journey uh, awesome. right from day one. <laughs> so it, it it's nice, you know. It's it's, it's a great way to. Uh, sort of, um, uh, you know, culminated also. I think through and through. Two big, the, two big adventures away yeah, to yeah. in just a short while. <laughs> Let's begin then. Uh, I, I take that first question to Aditya Dhar. Aditya, because when I was watching the trailer, and I, I come to you first for a reason, because when uh, the dialogue of Yami's character says Kashmir is a lost cause. You know, it hit me immediately. It felt to me also at one point in life when you know we would watch these non-stop mass street violence for years, death toll, dominance of Pakistan narrative. It did feel Kashmir was gone. When I would be reporting on the ground, I would watch children were pelting stones, school children. They were then getting mm. injured in crossfire, and then Article 370 announcement comes on 5th August 2019. A full plan, secret mission. Everyone's taken by surprise. My biggest concern was. bloodshed will happen now and we yes. saw that didn't happen there have been changes yes. there have been crack down on terrorism you tell me aditya dhar why did you think that cinema must reveal the back story on this issue because just like uri so little was known about the government decision over this in public domain and yet you decided to bring forth this venture that's the uh, beauty of cinema that you actually uh, are always looking for stories which uh people kind of know about but they don't have an idea how it happened the mm. same happened like you said same happened with uri everybody knew that a surgical strike has happened Correct. but nobody knew how it happened mm. so uh, as a filmmaker inherently we are very inquisitive we always want to know ki exactly hua kaise tha how did how did these guys pull it off and uh, when once we started uh, researching on it we realized that it's one of the most incredible operations ever conducted in the history of uh, uh, since since independence of india yes and and i uh, and it's a story which is like uh, it will be um, absolutely criminal not to tell that story to the world hmm. because there were so many people uh, were brave officers bureaucrats uh, uh, army jawans army soldiers so many brave people who were behind it and not to tell this their side of the story or their story would have been absolutely mm. criminal so uh, it was a no brainer for us the moment we got to know mm. uh, the moment we started researching and we got to know the details of the whole operation we uh, then and there we decided that we have to tell the story and of course being a um, uh, kashmiri it, it's something which is very personal to us so true uh, we have seen uh, the effects of uh, terrorism and uh, yes jisko hum hindi mein halga baat kehte hain separatism hmm. uh us ke jo effects dekhe hain how these people were actually kind of using this particular article to hide behind it hmm. uh, after doing whatever menace or whatever whatever uh, hmm. uh, criminal activity they were doing and hiding hmm. behind this article Hmm. and uh, and hats off to each and every agency which which was there on the ground taking care of hmm. uh, kashmiri people and making sure that when the abrogation happens not even a single innocent blood is shed hmm. on the streets of kashmir that was in itself one of the most amazing uh, uh, operation like hmm. ways of conducting an operation and and hats off to the to all the agencies 
That, that's a good it's point because I think that was the highlight. Had, you know, that to ensure that bloodshed doesn't happen, the preparation that went into months. And now I also know mm -hmm. the details and we'll, of course, watch it on Article 370 film as well. And I know Yami's character talks about that in the trailer as well to ensure how that needs to be done. I'm glad, Yami, that in fact, not a male hero for this important film, but a woman is the main protagonist and an action role, a strong mind. I was reporting in 2019 throughout Jammu Kashmir, Ladakh. I've reported in most difficult terrains. So there is nothing that a woman cannot do. And you remind us on that for cinema. But why do you think now it's time that cinema stands up for not just topics like Article 370 that represents a strong-willed India, but also women characters that, like yours that, in, that is inspired from real-life characters? Thank you, Pooja. And um, I think I have Aditya to, to, to give credit to for this. <laughs> um, because factually, my character, Zuni, um, it's based on someone's real life. Someone, uh, there is a... Female, there's a real life female uh, officer, you mean? Yes, yes, yes. Wow. There's a real life female officer out there. And, and so I'm sure of course, so many more. But specifically, there is there's someone out there and who is who is part of this this operation. Mm. Mm. Uh, of course, for security protocol and and other things, can't uh, can't reveal anything further. I mean, I haven't met the mm. the, uh, the brave officer. But uh, when I read, when you read such stories, when you read and you um, uh, you know that's that's the closest you can come face to face. You know, and just imagining. Mm. Uh, that this is what they've done and this is you always start comparing okay this is you know what i'm doing at this point of time and this is what someone's doing at at 2 a.m somewhere and um True. and I, I think that automatically as as an actor also i think it, it motive it motivated me a lot it does in times where you know okay you're feeling um you're, you're tired you're this and that all that starts feeling very small mm. and i have to give credit to aditya that uh just he didn't make this into a mini character to make more money or to make it more in, in, in trade term, more sellable and, and you know all those mm. terms so I'm, I'm very thankful to you for for sticking and of course Priya Mani who also plays a very very important part a very pivotal mm. part in the film and um, I think it's you're right it's about time and we do have I although I do feel it's been a journey when especially when it comes to female representation in, in cinema it mm. is not just us like today, if I'm sitting here, I'm I'm promoting a film while I'm I'm expecting my baby. I have another film which is That's ready for release. I have another film where there's a soft commitment of, of shooting, and they're they're ready to wait, yeah. uh, and um, t until I'm you know I I deliver my baby and everything is fine, and you know they, they, you yeah. need a little bit of time. They, they, they said you know we'll wait for you. So that shows the that how far have we literally traveled? You know from times where. This was a huge thing that getting married only, even for actors, Correct. Uh, you know, let, forget female actors. It was a huge thing. Yeah. But now that that shows uh, that audience doesn't do any discrimination. Audience has nothing to do with, no, they just need good stories. They need powerful stories. Power, and Joby genre, whatever genre it is, I mean, we have different kind of cinemas. I think to if a film like 370 works, we hope it works, yeah. that also kind of paves the path even more. Like how I think Uri was one of its kind where it was Absolutely. something, it, it infused patriotism, but in a very different mm. modern sort of a way. Mm. So this film also is, is kind of paving path for something, uh, for a new genre, for mm. something new, you know, and, and to, uh, to offer audience um, reality, the history of the country, but in an engaging way, in, in, a, in a way that we'd like to enjoy and connect with cinema. And if such films do well, hmm. um, of course, um, uh, with with uh, uh, as you as you spoke it's about opening a window. presentation, hmm. it's opening a window for so many others. Hmm. I would never ask my audience or anyone to watch my film because I'm a woman, hmm. I'm a girl. Please watch my film. It's a female centric film. No, that I think that's that's the weakest. Correct. Uh, that, that's the weakest line of hmm. to me. No, watch my film because I feel this this film deserves to be watched. This film hmm. deserves to be given a chance, hmm. and um, we, we are we are hmm. um, being part of a film which has substance and is very substantial, hmm. and and go for it. So I think that is where also we need improvisation. Again, it's a it's a very big it's a cycle. We need more writers. We need more producers backing this thought 
um the audience is ready the audience has, has been ready for since a really long time that's true so in I'm fact you know it's it's about taking a chance yeah. and you've taken that chance as a team you took it with ori and now again and in the past few years we've seen a lot of experiments being done and and the audience you, you're right is ready to to give their review they are ready to go watch to the theater even after the covid pandemic aditya jamle when you are a director of such a film like article 370 of which you've also written the screenplay dialogues and i quote from one of the dialogues of a terrorist here who says we must keep the terror threat alive in their heart this is true even today targeting killings are still on of kashmiri pandits muslims are being targeted if they want peace and development in kashmir the ta- terrorists are after them too how do you ensure when you make such a political drama strong film that it has to be about understanding the nuances understanding the gravity of the situation to get the authenticity correct because dialogues can make or break a film sometimes i think uh, i think staying true to the facts is the first uh, fundamental thing uh, which is important for such kind of a uh, topic which mm. has which has which is so much of gravity uh, like true. when you are doing or writing a film on this particular topic because kashmir as as we say it's a very it's a very complex socio political fabric mm. you know it is not it is not so simple to understand it, it there are so many factors so many facets uh and uh, complications uh, and i think uh, being a young director i think my uh, intent was to somehow make uh, you know the entire indian audience to understand what the kashmir is about not just on the surface but also go to the depth of it mm. and at the same time uh, you know the film after they watch the film they should be in the position to say that we know everything we understood pretty much everything and now yes. it has Im- kind of inspired us to dig deeper into you know I, i'm going to take interest in this topic because mm. this kind of a genre is such new we don't have references for this genre Correct. when we say it's a political action thriller drama mm. uh, like a lot of people will have questions in their mind what what do you mean by that mm. so i think it's uh, it's it's very crucial at this stage that these kind of uh, uh, you know bold steps are taken but staying true to the facts was the first important golden mm. rule that was required because i think truth doesn't have sides it just it's very clear picture Correct. which is backed by facts and so i and i also notice in the film yes it's you know you've tried to be very clear very direct with what you're trying to speak about also aditya dhar but here where i bring you in kashmir is so personal like to you and me for sure we've seen so much while growing up about exile deaths horror faced by our families it's not always as easy to bring personal to paper i sometimes even after years of experience and training get numb and anxious sometimes you know when when you report an incident it it sometimes hits too close home do you also feel this when you're directing a film aditya because what i noticed is is this possibly one of the reasons that despite directing a super hit uri you've not directed article 370 you've produced it absolutely because uh, uh, when you are uh, so uh, uh, emotionally connected yes. or so uh, emotionally affected by a subject uh, you might have certain biases uh, which i always say that uh, when we were writing this when we started writing this we had not decided who's going to direct it. okay so when we were writing it while the process of writing was going on uh, i personally also realized and of course my brother lokesh hmm. who is the head of our company hmm. he also realized that uh, jamle uh, avita jamle is the best person to tell this story because somewhere uh, he is uh, he, he, we culturally understand and uh, uh, the nuances of being a kashmiri but hmm. what he understands is he's he can he will be able to look at it very holistically correct so mm. it was it was a very conscious uh, decision that jamle will have a much neutral point of view compared to what might be i might have mm. but in the sense um, uh, when we wrote it we wrote it together and i realized that uh, uh, apart from uh, what jamle bl- brings to this in terms of the point of view he also has a great uh, knowledge about uh, uh, the legal system hmm. which uh, i kind of was not that aware of hmm. and that also helped him a lot yami i take this to you now there's so much excitement there's anticipation for this film it looks it's well shot there's appreciation for the trailer and then because you've been sharing all the videos and the reels there will be these usual suspects you know i saw in the comment section an odd comment someone will write sarkari propaganda hai release is so close to the elections 
what would you say to those who without watching without knowing further details will throw a negative review on the film and will they've decided they've decided what this film is about despite you sharing videos after another I think um, the two parts I think of your question one is the release date the, I'm an actor it's yes. always a producer's pre- uh, prerogative to mm. to uh, the release date and in this case um, in any film you know you a producer it's very hard to have a solo release first of all in today's time mm. and every producer is looking for an opportunity for a cleaner window as clean as possible mm. ours is not a big budget film ours is not a mega big budget film and mm. um and all that and we had to space it in a way where we started the year with a big film and now march march onwards there going to be of course all the big announcements with your uh, you know your other kind of uh, uh-huh. but if, yeah there's so many films that mm. uh, they've already started rolling in the trailers and everything mm. so this is the only the safest window from from producers pr- uh, perspective mm. and of course having discussed it with distributors and everybody mm. concerned the decision this decision was taken and it's always taken like that uh, that's one secondly about all these terms propaganda and chest thumping and hmm. two three more which we learned i think in couple of years yes. ab itna zyada ho gaya that you it doesn't even bother anymore hmm. you don't even feel like that you need to answer back to anyone hmm. because this film is for the audience hmm. and for that an audience uh, who wants to enjoy a film for what it is hmm. and they never go in with anything on their mind mm. they go in with the most neutral mindset with the hope that the money that they spend the hard earned money they all come all the way through traffic and mm. it's a family of every come from middle class families who know what watching a film is mm. right yes. yes we really value that yeah. so hence we really value our, our the time and money that our audience e- even now it's a they, it's a very important moment to go to the theater and with your family absolutely aditya sir you want to take that question because you know i i just want to get this cleared because people are so quick to target a film like that what do you want to say to them is it so close to elections is it propaganda what do you have to say so i i have said this before and i'll say it again uh, the current government doesn't need a film like ours to get attention <laughs> uh they they have done such incredible uh, work in the last few years hmm. that uh, a small film like ours will will not not do anything for them it will not get them votes whatever they have to get they have already done whatever work they have hmm. so so for me uh, it's uh it's really really funny when people talk, talk like this without yes. even watching the film hmm. if you watch the film and you feel like okay then you are saying it and you have an argument to back it hmm. i'm ready to talk about it But and that's how it should be that, that's how it should be watch your product and absolutely. then then let's have a discussion on that aditya aditya jamle a lot of shooting that i saw from the tailor is in kashmir downtown and uh, i know that it's not the easiest earlier there have been hostilities as well if political scenes have to be shot romantic kashmir everyone loves how was it this yeah. time did you get political support was it easy uh, shooting in kashmir how was the support like i think uh, it was amazing uh, i think rather than anything i think we got the support from the local kashmiris Good. you know local kashmiris hmm. uh, shooting in downtown is something that i don't i don't know in the past whether it has happened before hmm. uh, that to shooting with yami uh, hmm. both outdoor indoor uh, we had amazing local uh, kashmiri support made be the crew the line producers the local people there and along with that of course crpf and jk police uh, who gave us full uh, you know support throughout but there was no incident or any kind of a difficulty mm. or a grave danger of any sort and i think that is in itself is a big uh, big big mm. statement because to shoot a film on article 370 in kashmir with the support True. of the locals uh, is 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 basically reflects upon why that decision was crucial because it has happened after the abrogation of article 370 mm. that, that's an so important anyway, point that's, that's an impo- i think a lot of that yes <laughs> we couldn't even think about that before 2019 5th august 2019 yes. because it would have been next to impossible a normal person if if i being a kashmiri i wanted to go to to see my house in safa kadal even i have i would have like aditya my father's uh, house uh, is also from safa kadal so we may have been neighbors <laughs> in another past life yeah like had it had all been well in kashmir interesting go ahead please yeah so for uh, for us uh, uh like it it at that time uh, the authorities themselves would say you don't go over there you are not allowed to go there. correct and now for us to shoot over there to stay there for almost 
uh, one and a half, two mm. months, and to shoot all over Kashmir mm. without even a single incident. And people were like so helpful. You can see the kind of development which is happening in Kashmir right now. It's so evident. Mm. Like the roads are being built, the highways are being built. Uh, so, uh, tourism, the footfalls. Uh, it, mm. It's incredible. So um, the the result is in front of you. Mm. Now, anybody who is peace-loving mm. can see that. It's a very neutral thing to see. It's in front mm. of you. Mm. People who want to, who already have an agenda in their head, will never see this part. Mm. Mm. So they'll know, they will always harp upon something which is very, like, a very mi- minority-related segment. Mm. If there's a very small segment, mm. they will basically project it as... And that also, is I think the, this, the, the, there was a certain narrative, I think, that was held for so long that to, to bring forth another view has been, I think, a challenge in itself. You know, Kashmir always gets too serious for all of us. Yami Aditya, Yami, you know, let's, let me ask this to you. Aditya sounds and seems like a sweet husband, but does he completely transform to this dictator, director, producer... Uh, what happens on the set? <laughs> Aditya, are you able to scold Yami if she does not get a role right? Because you have to go home again. Tell me about that. How can I scold Yami? Yami, you tell me. How is Aditya like? I've, I've actually seen the other side of his um, before. This sweet and caring and loving husband, which was an Uri. Hmm. And he was a sweet and, and such a nice, the nicest director I'd worked with. And which, and I'm sure you ask anybody on on Uri from any technician to anybody, they'll all back it up. I mean, mm-hmm. everybody on that film gave gave it more than hundred percent. And it's a given fact. Your director is literally captain of the ship, and he uh, it's he who actually creates that energy and sets the bar for everyone. Mm-hmm. And he did it with so much ease, and literally proved that you don't have to be a dictator or any of these things or mm-hmm. use cuss words mm-hmm. or or, or lose your temperament or, or, um, or lose your temper uh, to be a good director, to be a good leader, I, I'd, I'd rather say. And and one of the most toughest films are definitely of my career film, which uh, usually everybody asks for some extra dates and patchwork and all. Um, a film where a 52 day schedule, I think, was 40, became a 40, and I'm yes. like, uh, are you sure? We, we can go. <laughs> are you sure? <laughs> so I've seen that side of this. Nice. And and this is something which followed, and he is he is, uh, and I mean the reason why um, everybody gave in or gives in more than hundred is because of the person that Aditya is. He is that person, very passionate, very compassionate. He's all heart. He's this is nothing. Um, I, this is one of the common things mm. uh, that uh, we I think re- love love and respect about each other. There's nothing. We're not very drama kind of people. We're very simple at heart. And you're very private also, upbringing. I see, as a couple, both of you. And, 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 and very private. Mm. And an insane sense of humor. An incredible cook. And everything that I can, you can ask Amazing. for in your, in your partner. That Until I read it in articles, I didn't even realize it's been three years of our marriage. And now mm. the family is growing. Mm. So I'm, I always, before saying... All those, you know, nice things and about love and friendship and all. Yes. The first thing that comes from my heart as a wife and as a spouse, partner is, may God always bless you because he is, he is, he is a blessing. He both is a of you, one. both of you seem absolutely genuine, <laughs> and I think that's what that's what the audience and people also love. My best wishes to not just Yami and Aditya, but Aditya Jamle as well, because apart from Thank personal you. life, this is an initiative, Article 370, and I would say keep speaking your story. Thank you yeah. for joining. Thank you, Pooja. Thank this you has so been much. such an insightful conversation. Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank, Thank you very much.